what's good welcome back to my channel today is Eid which is an Islamic holiday a lot of you guys don't know that I am spiritual and I am religious I'm gonna be making like Turkish empanadas they're actually called poachas I'm spending some time with Racy before I run some errands I need to go to the supermarket and we're gonna get the ingredients we're gonna come back and we're gonna make it I can like talk to you guys for a bit you will thank you I'll be back I promise I will be back and I will be yes <laughs> help me <laughs> so I only need like three ingredients I need yogurt flour and margarine margarine I can't even say that Mar margarine 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 I'm home, I changed really quick. So I have the ingredients here and I also got parsley because just in case we didn't have any in the fridge, I didn't check. Now I'm gonna start making the pacha. Uh, you can get yogurt, like the regular one, but I just got fat free because these are already gonna be very fattening. Okay, it's 1.39. I gotta hurry my boot talks off. I put the oven to 350 degrees and I'm gonna start making it. I'm gonna get two eggs and then one egg is gonna be cracked. And then this egg, I'm just gonna use the white and I'm gonna put the yolk into another plate because I'm gonna use that as a topping like that. I'm literally rushing because <laughs> I have no time. Pachas are ready to be um, drenched in egg. Just a little bit of sesame. You don't want to overpower it, just, you know, a little bit. Twenty minutes. That smells good. I think they're done. Oh, they look so cute. Now I'm just gonna put them in here. I am back. We went to like friends and family's houses and visited, had coffee, ate good food. Um, a lot of things have been going really well. I missed you guys, I missed filming. Just like update you guys on what's been going on. It's pretty late, it's like 7.30, so I have to... Also, I think it was like Pisces season where I was struggling with my mental health. Then Aries season came by and I woke up like really, really early. I wake up early anyways, but I woke up like really early. I got shit done. I was like, okay, this is what I needed. I needed fire <laughs> in my life. Then my Libra sister-in-law and her mom came from Turkey. I finally felt like someone in the family like understood my mindset because I'm the only air sign. What else? Like, I'm trying to think, there's so much. For the first time in my life, I can go to sleep and I don't have to like worry about anything. My Sag boyfriend, he gave me safety. He is my, I, I don't care if this is gonna sound corny. This is coming from an Aquarius, so be prepared. <laughs> He's my like safe harbor. He is the foundation of a healthy relationship. I know I manifested this. I just, I'm like beyond grateful. I've never dated a Sagittarius, so it's nice, okay? They're not as scary as you think. <laughs> I've always loved Sagittarius. I've always loved them. I've always respected them, but like I couldn't get close enough to them 
because like they need a lot of space and like we need a lot of space um career wise i am dedicated to building my youtube channel and just like being focused with filming um these aquarius have been dealing with money issues because of the retrogrades like that's what impacted us the most like i have a capricorn rising so i need to feel safe financially in order to let my creations kind of flow and i've just learned to be okay with not being financially stable and just like still being creative you get what i'm saying i have to realize like money is not everything um but thankfully money is coming in i went into psychology when i wanted to go into engineering and i knew what i was getting myself into but you know everything happens for a reason and psychology gets such such a bad rep you know social workers psychologists therapists mark my words as technology grows psychology is going to be the next next field of approach like people will be needing more psychologists psychiatrists it's because there's going to be no more like human interaction it's just we're going to be surrounded by you know walking robots and you thought Aquarius for the rocking ro walking robots that can't speak today. <laughs> That's great. Sorry, I was on the phone. Um, anyways, what were we saying? So, one thing that I prominently dealt with, prom <laughs> prominently dealt with, I dealt with a lot of like loss of friendships, people that I did not even expect to like lose. You know, it was like the weirdest thing because they kind of just like slipped out of my life and I was like, okay. In the past, I would have gotten so heartbroken over it because Aquarius is the, the 11th house, so it rules friendship. But now I'm just like, bye, you know? Because I've given so many chances and I've done a lot to like preserve these friendships and keep them you know sacred but somehow they just found their way out it sucked but i'm okay and i have so many plans guys so many plans and i really just want to show it i don't want to talk about it i'm so cold from being outside <laughs> anyways i am inside now i think about it there's also questions on my computer that i saved from a question a video that i was gonna do like a while back so i think i'll just like answer it now um jacqueline zamora asked do you drink fluoridated water unfortunately i do but i have like a filter um on my sink and then sometimes if i'm at like a restaurant or whatever i'll just take whatever they give me but most likely i'll dr drink like bottled water. How are you today? Kush18 asked. I'm fantastic. I feel good. I just wish I wasn't so stressed with the upcoming events, but that's just something I have to work on. Min Mint Mean asked thoughts on cancer in the second house. Well, second house is, you know, it's ruled by like money um, and like how you feel about yourself and um cancers are very hard working their opposite sign is capricorn so the mother figure in the workplace um just like the one doing the bills the one like controlling the money and, and you also have to remember that cancer is a water sign it's important that you work off your emotions you know Marie Bell Marsha asks, what's one astrological placement that you really don't fuck with? Mine is Mars and Gemini. Mine is um, Mars and Aries. I feel like they come off like so harsh and just like more aggressive than usual because that is its placement to be in. I'm very like Piscean, like soft. I can't deal with like aggression or any of that. Like I try to stay away from it, but if I have to, you know, a piranha will come out. It's just, I'd rather not, you know? Wander X Lust asks, what's something you learned about yourself recently? Uh, I've definitely learned that I am not perfect. And I know that's such a generic answer, but uh, every day I realize like, I sometimes could be a bad person. Sometimes I can be a good person. So it's like learning. It's like a learning groove for me. Fresh avocado 
I like your username, said, advice to get over a breakup. I'm an Aqua and he's a Leo, broke up with me today. I feel devastated, thank you. This was like months ago and I'm sorry, I know some time has passed. My advice to get over a breakup is just accept it. Also, just like go with the flow. Don't reject your feelings. You know, go over the memories. Take some time to grieve. Also, surround yourself with things that can push you into another level, like working out or, you know, trying something new or traveling. You know, these are really, really important things to do for our being. Relationship will always come and go. Life is just fast paced, unfortunately. That's just how it is. But never, never be rushed. Never be rushed. Veggie03 asks, what is your Venus and your Mars? Um, I am a Venus in Pisces, yes, and a Mars in Aquarius. Cesaya, Jessaya Gonzalez, how to deal with anxiety and panic attacks. Um, from a psychological perspective, that's something that you would have to talk to a professional with. Take a shower, water calms me down. Um, Kareem Maisha asked, how do you become more emotionally empathetic? By the way, I love your channel. Thank you so much. Um, more emotionally empathetic, I feel like uh, accepting your own emotions. If you accept how you feel, you're going to become more accepting towards other people. It's just how it is. If you reject what you're feeling, you're definitely gonna reject what other people are feeling. Uh, Court Blair asks, what's the hardest part about using Twitter as a spiritual outlet for your work? Love you. I love you too. Um, the hardest thing is, like sometimes I'll tweet something that I really want to reach to like a lot of people, but um, I know that it will reach the right amount of people. I'm not in it for the numbers. I'm not in it for like any of that. Claraha Buka one said, are you into tarot cards? I am into tarot cards, but um, I don't know much about it. I'm still like learning. I've had like tarot card readers, psychics come up to me and like tell me like you need to get into it because you have a lot of Pisces in your chart and you are very intuitive. Um, but I just like, you know, I'm like kind of, I got other things to do. I'd rather not, I'm already emotional. I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather not, trust me. Fee underscore fee underscore asks, do you ever plan on getting married, having children, or just going with the flow? I do plan on getting married um, whenever that happens and having children. I think I'm okay with being a dog mom right now, <laughs> but you never know. I think I want like two kids. I want like two boys, but having a girl i think would be okay too guys my battery died um so i'm gonna finish up some of the questions jupiter jupia tor asked uh how do you deal with haters and their haterade surprisingly i don't really deal with a lot of haters i have a lot of silent haters but i don't have like haters haters you know i'm very like you got beef with yourself not me Underscore Nads underscore asked, uh, what is your dream profession? It is to be an industrial psychologist. Also pays really well for a psychology degree. So I'm like, I like you. My Capricorn Rising is like thrilled. <laughs> Kaylee Anguino. Oh my God, I'm like, I feel so bad that I'm butchering people's names. She asked, what first sparked your interest in astrology? being called weird 24 7 like you're so weird haha <laughs> oh my god you're so weird so that is it guys i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog this brings me back to like when i first started making youtube videos let me know what you guys have been up to um and i'll definitely respond in the comments because i really just want to like talk to you guys and see what you're up to i love reading your comments i can't explain it just connecting with people is like my favorite thing uh, what else? And just expect a ton of videos coming your way because I told you I'm the best. And I will see you guys very, very soon. This alien is out.